Howdy y'all, this is Regulus Raven, and welcome back to our adventures here with the Fire of the Phoenix, where last time we had our children grow up. This is Spider and Lyric, and uh, we're working with trying to make sure that we uh, have them continue to do well here so far, and uh, we are trying to build our creatures up to become phoenixes and we have the what we're trying to become in the last two episodes so if you want to re-go over that that is there um i had someone request that we do the last names and have them be passed down by mail so, as y'all saw, we have there, we, I added in last names, and I made them part of who I'm assuming their ancestor would have been. So, we have Samurai, who I'm assuming is a descendant of Mirage. Um, I have Deathstalker, who I put down for Soul. And then Scorpionus, I put for Dragon, because I felt that would be really cool to see on our children. And then Arthras, I put Moon, because I assumed she would be a descendant of Moon. So, our two over here, we have Spider, who uh, is Samurai's son, and then Lyric, who is Dragon's daughter, or Scorpionus's daughter. So, we're gonna um, see how this goes, Let's make sure, hopefully it doesn't get too confusing, but uh... We'll see how that how that turns out with with these guys. It might be an easier thing to do with our um, times where we have our creatures um, where they have one mated pair, but I still wanted to try it at least for these guys just to see how it goes. So um, we have that going for now. Uh, at the end of last time, we had this Barina show up, and he's after our newest creature, Kosiana, who, um, we, we really want her to stay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna pull her out and put Lyric in there to, um, take out that Barina, because that's gonna go rather quickly once she gets over there, because... We'll be able to take out a lot more, more quickly. I think we'll also send Arthras over. There we go. There we go. And then, sweet. Okay, that'll work for now. Um, let's go ahead and grab up both pieces of this. Samurai was supposed to be my in the middle creature, right? I think I had him go purr for her because she got sick. Yes, that was it. So let's see. We were trying to get her up to a nest. Let's see. How does Spider do that? And I think I was going to have Arthras go to that nest anyway. Or that one. At least to a nearby nest, anyway. Alright, and then... Stealthy. I didn't know what else to name him, so he got the row of mail. Name ending. And maybe we'll have a good decent one and we might just have them have their mother's name but his mother didn't have a name also so I'm not surprised I knew that was coming I knew that was coming okay um so let's see let's have Arthas grab the nest real quick, and Spider can kind of grab this, 
like to kind of scooch your head a little bit. And then I need to kind of spread y'all further apart. Bye. All right, you guys. Because of course, that's gonna be a thing. Um, I don't think, yeah, he doesn't have enough strength. Let's have Scorpionus come help out with that. There we go. He has Bebe. Oh, the purse nailed. Purse nailed came out. So cute. All right, she's adorable, and we got the yellow eyes in there, and that's why I decided Mirage. <laughs> Prehistoric genetics that we've been using lately. Mega horns, uh, ar uh, armor body, the hammer and tail. Goodness gracious. Um, she is gonna get his last name. But let's take a look at our naming suggestions. We got some new ones lately. but I, I have a bunch of old ones that I really need to use. Um, okay, so I had, I remember having a suggestion to use sounds for our big ear creatures. And I like that idea. And this is a, a suggestion from a dull cactus. But we don't have this as an actual naming suggestion. And I think it'll work for her because I think it's just really cute. Her. And then put that last name in there. I think that is actually really cute. Since cat's purr. Could be meow too. But I like purr more. Because the other ones were like chime and buzz and stuff like that. So I, I like that one for her. I think that would be adorable. Purr. Welcome to the tribe, little one. And we got the armor body in there, so... Not too, too, too terrible. But, hang on. Before I forget, she does have the bird beak and the heat body recessive, which are from both of their mutation menus. So, that's good though. We can at least pull it from their uh, recessives. It's good to know also that purse now is dominant over bird beak, and armor body is dominant over heat body. So, we have things to continue with. Okay, um, let's have... Spider, come after the bunny. Or at least scare it that direction. We'll have her go that way. There we go. We're getting there. There we go. Still feels better, like, burying our dead creatures. Even if we just have to say that we did it. Alright. I 
think it's time to start grabbing from the stinky fruit. To help our food. Because we're still doing fine, at least. Okay. Um, we need light this direction. And actually, we could have Lyric head in here some more. Hope we don't get another thing that way. Um, well, there's so many bunnies. We could sit there and hunt bunnies for days. So, alright, what am I gonna have you do? I think to start out, I might need to have another baby with you. Each one has had two babies. Well, they're about to have had two babies. I think I'll send him this way again. There we go. Let's grab from that berry bush. Our other new baby. Oh, the bird beak came through. Oh, so cute! Tiny little bird. Oh my goodness! The mutation menu really went through with that one. It's the bird beak and the heat body in there. Lean body is dominant, I'm not surprised. Heat body is extremely recessive. And it's a little baby boy. Oh, he's adorable. He did get the scorpion tail, which is good to know it's dominant over the peacock tail. He's gonna have some good little babies. All right, let's take a look at the naming list because I'm sure we've got something in here. I'm sure we've got something that could go for a bird. This one could go for an armored body creature as well, but I like it for him because it also fits for our bird creatures. This is going to be Rook. Welcome to the tribe, little one. I forgot his last name. <laughs> so this is going to be Rook. Rook is a naming suggestion from Troy Shipley. And I had originally put that it could be used for armor body because of the chess piece called the Rook, but I think for him it works. Because it is also a bird. And he's got brown eyes, not our, our other colors, so he's so cute. Oh, it's been a while since we've seen the bird beaks. Alright, uh, you know what? I don't think I've seen bird beaks yet per se, myself, so. Either way, he's absolutely adorable and I love him. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to step it up then. So let's see. First things first, we're gonna come over and grab the berries. Yeah, now I can't stop with just two children. We gotta have more. So, 
Oh, oops. Oh no. I meant to grab that grass. Dang it. Alright. a decent source of food. I'll give you that. Oops. We're scaring everything, ain't we? Okay. So we'll have them have another BB together and then let's go on ahead and start lighting up more space. Did I set up their mutation menus yet? I did not. Just in case we come across another rogue male, just... It, it, it's there in the back of my head. I'm like, there's gonna be another rogue. There's gonna be. We don't have enough creatures right now. So, I have to fix a lot of her genetics. So we need fertility and hemophilia done for her. So let's go on ahead and do that. Fertility and normal blood clotting for her. And then for him, let's see. We could do wing and bird beak for him. He has heat body recessive. They have a good chance for cocktail in there. So I think we'll start off with wing and bird beak. Just to see if we can get more with that. So the wing and the normal bird beak please. Bird beak. There we go. Her meat with him. That was very lucky for poor fertility. Have him come do that for me. There we go. Alright. Let's see. That, I forgot that he can't be near anyone and I still made it decent anyway. Okay. Another cute little kitten. with blue eyes, goodness gracious, and the mask again, similar colors to his sister. And we have a decent balance with both of them. He has armor body all the way though. See what else do we have different? The horns and the colors, but that's completely beside itself. And are their eyes different? Yes, they are. He is absolutely adorable, though. I feel like because we named the other one. Her, we need to name him something cat related as well. Per. So there's this thing that cats do where they're trying to attract a, or disarm a bird. And I know we're going towards birds, but this is just too kind of perfect now that I'm thinking about it. This is going to be chitter. His dad's garage. There we go. Welcome to the tribe, little one. 
I don't know if you would call it chitter or chatter or something like that, but that's that's the closest I've got. I think that's perfect. That's adorable. He is so cute. Adorable little kittens. Despite the fact that we're going or we're going towards the phoenixes and it makes me a little bit sad to lose our um purse notes because they've helped us so much in the past it's not funny so just to have that be a thing we're possibly going to lose i'm going to be extremely sad they've helped us out so much i need to have more in betweenness <laughs> oh goodness sadly we haven't had any more heat bodies and you know what J and D and K and C. Rook is probably going to be with Lyric. Um, they have a really good chance for a heat body on top of the bird beak, which would be very nice. The only thing is that peacock tail. And then Spider has been with Kosiana. And we might have Rook with her as well. I think H and I, J and D, we could do that one as well. There's just so many pairings. And then we're adding new creatures to add into the pairings. And it's, it's, it's just going nuts. It's going everywhere. Alright. But that is all the time that I have for today. So, um, next time hopefully I will remember about moles and bunnies. And all the things we have going on. And we'll have to see how things continue to go. Um, we are doing well, but I'm assuming that's because we are on Whale Island and there aren't that many predators, there aren't that many obstacles here right now because we're on Whale Island. So um, we'll have to see if next island, how things are going to go. I have no idea where I want to send them. If y'all have any ideas about where to send them, please, uh, do please share. I, for some reason, I associate heat body with the mountains, so I want to go to the mountains, but that doesn't feel like a place we should go for these guys, so let's see. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like. Uh, leave any naming suggestions that you have in the comment section down below, and do please subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Take y'all. Bye-bye.